Good morning guys and welcome to another video. Uh, as you can see on this one, um, I have a Peugeot 2007. This is the 16 valve, uh, 1.6 16 valve. Um, and as you can see on this one, on the fourth one down is P11A8 and that's exhaust camshaft phaser fault coherence. Okay, now on this one I've test driven the vehicle and it is absolutely sluggish. There's no misfires but the, there's obviously an issue with the timing on this one. Uh, so we'll strip it down and have a look um, and see if we can reset the camshafts and uh, make sure that the, very, uh, the uh, VVTs are working correctly and uh, we'll just time it all up. So I'll run through the timing process with you and then hopefully on the test drive afterwards we can uh, have a look to see if it drives any different. Okay, as you can see, I've taken the uh, rock cover gasket off, and then what we're going to be doing is re-timing up the two cams. All right, we've got a special locking tool, locking tool that will actually clamp onto these two bits here, and I'll run through the process on how to set up your timing for you. Okay, what I've done is I've put the car in fourth gear. Okay. I've lowered the near side down onto some chocks. And with my special little bits and pieces, the timing on this one, uh, it's not set at TDC, all the pistons are level. So with it being in fourth gear, I'm just gonna turn it round by literally just turning wheel. And this will allow me to, oh, there we go. We're pretty close on that one. Okay. As you can see, they're near enough dead level. This is just to give me an approximation on where to lock the uh, pin on the uh, flywheel and I'll run that through you. I could be 180 degrees out uh, but we'll have a look underneath and find out. Okay we're underneath the vehicle and the timing hole for this one is literally just up there and what I try to do is put a mirror in so we can have a look. And it's difficult to focus, but just up there on the mirror, you can see inside the hole. Okay, and there's no hole there for it. So what I'm going to do is turn the crank round and line it up. Okay, we were 180 degree, degrees out, so I've put a, a ratchet on the uh, crankshaft just to turn it round. What I'm going to try to do is have a little look in the hole up there on the mirror um, if I can turn it round and then you should be able to see a little pin hole just there so you can insert the tool okay we've got our alignment tool we've got a kit down there on the floor and this one is going to literally just go up and slot in into there until it goes in. Okay, I've had to tweak it slightly, but as I say, the locking pin is now in. It doesn't go all the way in, it just goes in literally the width of a finger, and that's now locked. I'm trying to turn that, and that's now solidly locked, so now I can concentrate, bring the ramp down, and do the top. Okay, this is the second part of the kit, and this one will have to assemble up um, and I'll assemble it and then we'll put it onto the car and we'll see how far out the timing is on this one. Okay, what I'm trying to do now is locate the locking pins for the exhaust cam and this should fit perfectly level with this one here and as you can see trying to get it down it doesn't and it locks in there and it's not even straight with the engine so this exhaust cam is definitely out um, and I'll run through that with you and what we're going to do with the pin being locked I'm going to crack off the two VVT torques one there and one there so I can then turn the cams individually and insert the locking pins and I'll, I'll do that for you and I'll show you how to do that okay What I've done is I've cracked off the two VVTs, so they're nice and loose, and that's nice and loose. 
Okay, what I'm going to do now is, as you can see, it's loose. The camshaft I can now turn. As you can see, it's turning here. And this tool slots onto, as you remember, we couldn't get it on. There you go. He's gone on. 